The following audio may contain the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team. All right, we are recording. Excellent, excellent. Uh, welcome, welcome, Optavia. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening uh, for the Habits of Health call. I am so excited to be here. Um, my name is Nick Fry. I am the behavioral specialist with Optavia, and uh, I have the wonderful opportunity uh, of not being the presenter tonight, but actually getting to host uh, someone else tonight. I'm really, really excited uh, for, for this person to share their story with you all. Um, we've got health coach, we've got Optavia coach, Betsy Stevens with us tonight, who is going to be sharing her amazing story um, that I can't wait for you all to hear. So while uh, we are waiting uh, just a minute or two to uh, get everybody on the call here, uh, why don't you go ahead and uh, reach out in that chat box and uh, show me where you all are from. I am here at my home in Frederick, Maryland. Uh, Betsy, where are you from? I am from Vancouver, Washington. Vancouver, the, other Vancouver, the other Vancouver, not <laughs> Canada, Washington. That's right. That's right. Still in the lower 48. Still in the lower 48. <laughs> Excellent. We've got a lot of people on here tonight. This is wonderful. I'm seeing Florida. I'm seeing Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Illinois. Uh, I think I saw Missouri in there, Virginia, Wisconsin, Ocean City, Maryland. All right. I spent so much time in Ocean City, Maryland as a young man. Uh, this is where we went on our vacations all the time. Uh, Betsy, where would you go on vacation? Are you from uh, originally from Washington? Oh, yeah, just across the river in, in Oregon. So love to anywhere outdoors. So love like Tahoe, love the mountains, love the oceans, love the deserts for hiking. All sorts, anywhere that's fun that has something to explore. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, I love being outside as well. Uh, looks like we're still got a few people coming in here. This is amazing. Oh, we've got somebody from Seattle there, uh, from Oklahoma, Cincinnati, Ohio, Houston, Texas. Texas, all over the place. You seeing this, Betsy? We've got yeah. the whole country here. This got is everybody covered, it looks like. Oh, you know it. You know it. All right. Well, uh, let's go ahead and get started. As I said, I'm so excited. To, to share this story with you all this evening. Uh, and I'm so glad that you were able to join us. So uh, Betsy, why don't we just start off with a little bit of information, um, you know, an introduction about yourself. So what led you to Optavia? Um, tell us a little bit about uh, the beginning of your journey, um, you know, wh where you started from. I started on program, well, actually I was introduced uh, to my health coach it, about five years ago and uh, good news bad news was it was right after our son got married so I was the the big the big mother of the groom so to speak and um, came home from the wedding and had already ordered my uh, fuelings prior to leaving for the wedding and came home to start my journey uh, like most people thinking it would be a weight loss story and mm -hmm. uh, it was I lost 52 pounds fairly quickly. Um, being a diet guru, I've been on every diet available known um, in my 60s. Uh, so I've, I've been through every diet from the fads of the 70s forward and nothing worked. And I met my coach and he's like, well, just, you know, if you can give me 30 days, just give it a try. Well, I gave him more than 30 days and 52 pounds later, um, hit my goal started in April and hit my goal in September and I've been maintaining my health ever since for the last wow. five years. Fantastic. 52 pounds, uh, which is 
absolutely impressive. But what always really impresses me is maintenance, is maintaining that weight, right? You've been able to maintain that healthy weight. Never done that before. Never yes. done that before. Yes, yeah. that's amazing. So what would you say uh, was different this time um, that led you to be able to maintain <sighs> this incredible weight loss? The Definitely the support. Mm -hmm. The support from having a health coach to keep keep you accountable, um, also to answer questions, and then guiding me to knowledge so that it would be a long-term solution, not a quick fix that, you know, would, would go away as fads do. And um, I felt so good. I could not believe how physically good I felt. No, like I never remembered my body feeling so good. I didn't, you know, they tell us old people, you're going to wake up and you're, you're just supposed to hurt in the morning when you get out of bed because that's what old people do. And I don't have that. And I know I said that to my coach about halfway through the program. I went, wait a minute. I don't hurt when I get out of bed in the morning. What's this all about? And so we talked about that one week. And um, I decided I never wanted to go back there again. Never wanted to go back there again. I heard a lot of really important things in that. One, you changed that mindset from quick fix to long term. You really dug into your support and your resources. And uh, something that I wanted to point out, because we're definitely going to get to, uh, is that you didn't feel like how old, I'm using air quotes here, old people were supposed to feel. And uh, there were a few other people that told you that in your story too, which we're going to get to in a little bit. Um, so thank you so much for sharing kind of some of that beginning stuff there. But there is a really amazing uh, story, even beyond this weight loss story, this weight maintenance story. Um, you experienced an event that was incredibly challenging. Uh, incredibly difficult that you have been able to overcome. Would you mind sharing a little bit about what happened? Yeah, it's uh, as I was preparing for this today, I actually got quite emotional realizing that um, April 24th of 2015, I had a pretty tragic fall. I fell 13 feet off of a ladder and um, ended up doing some pretty serious damage to myself. Um, 11 fractures, uh, several muscle tears, um, didn't hit my head, that's the good news, uh, kept it intact, but uh, did some pretty serious damage to my body and was told I was going to be four to six months in, in rehab um, to hopefully, at that point, to regain some mobility and able to be back to uh, participating in human life. Wow. Wow, so you had this terrible fall, and your doctors are telling you four to six months of recovery. Uh, it sounds like you did some really serious damage. Like, this, this was a, a, a very serious event that happened to you. Yeah, the, the, the worst part was, from my understanding, was I had eight pelvic fractures. Wow. And so that, that was a big majority of the issue, was being a senior, and having bone issues, um, healing is not favorable for seniors. From the medical perspective, it's, it's challenging. The older we are, it's challenging for your body to heal. Absolutely, so you had these horrible pelvic fractures. Um, you've got, uh, time is against you. Uh, healing factors are against you. You've got all these challenges. When did this happen in your health journey? When did this fall happen? Fortunately, uh, about two and a half years in, um, I had been maintaining my weight and my health, and I had actually started going back to the gym as physical exercise, not as trying to burn weight, but to actually build bone density, get some strength to my muscles, have cardiovascular health, etc. So I had really been improving my health in all aspects of the habits of health. This is su such an important point, I think, of your story that this fall, as terrible it is, all these pelvic fractures, four to six months of recovery, you have already put in two and a half years, you've lost the weight, you've been maintaining the weight, you've been hitting the gym, building up your muscles, building up your bones, and this 
is really going to be very important in the next part of your story in your recovery, isn't it, Betsy? It, it is. I mean, it is, it's bigger than I could have ever imagined. Um, because I was in pretty good physical um, condition at the time of my fall, I didn't have to have any surgery. I did have to have surgery on my wrist, which I broke badly. But my pelvis, because my muscle strength was good, the doctors told me the muscles actually tightened up around the bones and held the bones in place by swelling and things like that. But I didn't just shatter into a million pieces. So everything stayed where it belonged, which meant four to six months of bed rest for the first two months, absolutely no physical um, ability to walk or get out of bed because of the concern of the bones not healing. Wow. Wow. So, I mean, this sounds like a prison sentence. I mean, you're confined to your bed. You've got to sit there. You can't live life four to six months. Mm-hmm. And this is probably killing you at this point, right? It, it, what, was, what it, like? it was devastating. It was very depressing. The doctors came in the day after my, I was in the hospital for about five days. And 24 hours after my accidents, the doctors all came in to tell me what um, the next four to six months of my life were going to look like. And they were not painting a pretty picture at all. And they told me, you know, this healing factors and all of these issues were going to happen. And, and I said to them, I said, um, why does it have to be this way? And they explained, your body doesn't heal quickly. It takes a long time to mend. Older people don't heal. And I kept hearing this older, older, older. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're mountain climbers. We backpack. <laughs> and nothing stops us. Obviously, I was 13 feet up on a ladder. And I just decided um, you were a part of this, Nick. Uh, After the doctors left telling me kind of what my future looked like, I got on the phone and thought, if I'm going to be in bed for four to six months, how in the heck am I going to maintain my physical health and obviously my mental health? But I was first concerned about those 52 pounds that had left me. I just envisioned They were just knocking on the door to come back. And I called you, Nick. I actually placed a call to you to find out how I could nutritionally fuel my body in this awful state in order to assist with the healing. And and I remember this conversation, Betsy. I remember it very, very well because it was just, you were so determined that you weren't going to go back to where you were before. You had lost 52 pounds and you were not gonna let anything stop you. And so that determination just stuck with me. And so we worked things out and you made some really great decisions. And why don't you walk people through what you did then throughout that recovery process and make sure that you tell us, what were those doctors saying? Yeah, yeah, well, all the way along, it was, I kept hearing At first, I kept being told seniors this, seniors that. And then all of a sudden, I started hearing, you're not a normal 60-year-old. You are not a normal woman of your age. You've done something different. Your body is healing much quicker than we ever figured. Um, Can you tell us why you drink 100 ounces of water a day, even though you have to use a bedpan? Sorry, guys. (laughs) <laughs> or even though you have extreme pain to get out of bed to get to a bathroom or a commode by my bedside, which, by the way, was the only getting out of bed I was allowed to do, I still drank 100 ounces of water. And I told the doctor, well, how is my body going to heal if I hold on to all the junk that's in it from the healing process? And he goes, wow, you understand this. <laughs> and I did. I drank easily 80 to 100 ounces, some days even more than 100 ounces while I was sitting in bed. It just gave me something to do. There you go. And I love that part of the story is that the doctors are like, oh my gosh, you actually understand this. And that really says something about the health in this country, doesn't it, Betsy, about their expectation. They see you coming in here with this horrific injury 
and they're thinking to themselves, wow, you know, she's in her 60s, she's going to have a long time to heal. And I think that they had this expectation of, uh, you know, that she doesn't take care of herself. She's not a healthy person, maybe, or, um, you know, she, and so we've given her this four to six months, but you turned that completely on your head. You were drinking your water and you stuck with a healthy eating plan. You want to talk a little bit about that? Exactly. I, I had my husband immediately go home and grab everything that he could, all of my fuelings, uh, advised by Nick. I ate, um, I did the three and three program. I watched my meals. Uh, hospital meals are really fun. Um, but, you know, I ordered double meat, you know, double turkey and green beans, double green beans. And no, I don't want any potatoes. I don't want any bread. I don't want any butter, you know, and I just, I stuck to a three and three program, pretty much eggs in the morning, uh, really focused on getting my protein and my vegetables and having the fuelings and trying to, within, Nick had advised me a, a calorie amount to add besides my three and three to help fuel my body and healing. And I just, I just stuck to the program and it, again, it worked. It works if you work it, right? It's, it's amazing. I'm just picturing you laying in this hospital bed with this injury, and you've made this decision. I'm drinking 100 ounces of water. Uh, I've got my husband's help here. I'm going you know, to make that call to nutrition support. I'm going to ask these questions. I'm going to make these right choices. What do you feel like was motivating you? What was, the, what was that really driving factor behind all this? One of my big, big whys, um, I had a 18 month old granddaughter that I wasn't, I wasn't about to give in to being that old grandma that sat on the couch. Part of my losing the weight and getting healthy was so that I could take my grandkids hiking and backpacking and mountain climbing. And I saw for a short instant that go away mm -hmm. and I just had worked too hard. I just wasn't, I wasn't going to let something as silly as a ladder get in my way. It may have, but I just chose to do everything in my power to make it happen so that I had the best outcome possible. Wow. I, it gives me chills just thinking about you, uh, you know, it's t telling us about your, your grandchildren here and, I, I, I love that because that's something that I think a lot of people struggle with, Betsy, is that maybe they started like where you were, where they started the program because, well, I need to lose weight. Here's a weight loss program. Okay, you know, maybe it'll work for me, whatever. But you really changed that from this is weight loss, this is just so I can see a different number on a scale. And that why with your grandchild really became this powerful motivator in your life. And when, when do you feel like that happened for you in your journey when it, when it transformed from the loss to this lifestyle? It, you know, I was raised in a family that wasn't really active. Um, you know, genetics supposedly had, and, and we, weren't, we weren't in the, the, the morbidly obese. We were always just the chunky family. And I, even when I weighed at my highest weight, I was still carrying a backpack and going on backpack trips. It's a whole lot easier now because now I'm carrying the 52 pounds in a pack and I can take it off at the end of the day, which is really awesome. <laughs> um, but the big, the huge benefit that I had in all of this, Nick, was the doctors were I mean, the doctors, the physical therapists, every single time I went into a medical professional, the long story short is I healed one third of the time of their prediction. I was back at work. Now, I admitted I wasn't as active and as everything as I was before at work, but I was back to work in two months and one week. Wow. And I was supposed to be in a rehab center for at least four months then home for two additional months rehabbing because that's what happens with your injury at your age. This is incredible. You have this injury. The doctors say, 
four to six months. With this type of injury at your age, what we know as physicians, we say four to six months. You just said in two months and two weeks, you, okay, maybe you're not back 100%, but you were back. Yeah. And I think I'm hearing you say you really attribute that to staying focused on your health, getting to that healthy point ahead of time. Oh, oh goodness. It was like, it was like, this was your health insurance. You, you created your own health insurance here by getting healthy. You were putting money in the bank that you could spend when you needed it. Uh, it was a rainy day fund. It, and, and maybe another way to look at it is my health and getting healthy was my seatbelt for a very bad accident because having had my health with that accident, I truly believe, and I can add just another little tiny bit that kind of confirmed this. I had some oral surgery on my mouth just a couple of weeks ago, about three weeks ago, and I went in to have the stitches removed, and the, I can't remember the name of the specialist that does gum work, but anyway, he said to me, he says, oh my gosh, you have healed so fast. He says, I'm actually going to have trouble getting your sutures out because I don't know why, but you've healed really, really quickly. <laughs> so I get to hear it twice in a two and a half year time period. So there's got to be something to that, right? <laughs> there's be something to it. And I don't take any medications, by the way. I'm not, I don't take any medications. I just do the fuelings and I do a three and three program. This is incredible. This is incredible. So we, we've not only, I mean, this is basically evidence here that we've gathered, right? You said that, well, I had another experience and I was told twice now that I'm an incredibly fast healer. And, uh, you know, it's because of taking care of yourself, taking care of your health, um, maintaining that healthy weight. And I got to say, I love that analogy. You put on your health seat belt and it helped to protect you from this accident because we really cannot predict when something like this is going to happen we, we don't we're not guaranteed tomorrow we're not guaranteed that we won't have an accident like you had or something like that and so you taking care of yourself ahead of time was just so amazing and it's so helpful in your ability to recover from this really difficult point in your life it's amazing Amazing. And the cool thing was too, and th this is part of me, but I wasn't going to let the doctors be right on mm -hmm. that one scenario. I just, th that to me was just not going to happen. Yes. Yes. I and love I, that. Fortunately, I had a tool, tools to work with that helped me fight it. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. I mean, as brilliant as doctors can be and as helpful as they are, uh, you know, we have to understand as well that, um, you know, maybe we're a little bit different here. And maybe we, uh, you know, are, are maybe different than the average American because we're really focusing on our health and not just weight, but really uh, a holistic, healthy lifestyle. And I think that that's an incredible uh, part of this as well. So, uh, Betsy, why don't you tell us a little bit about where you're at now? What's going on in your life? Uh, do you feel like a, there's any after effects or what, what's going you on? You know, I actually had a follow-up uh, MRI and they literally, my, my pelvic specialist said he can't even believe it. He puts the x-rays or the MRI side by side and he said it, there's absolutely no evidence on the year, uh, the, the following year follow-up. MRI that there was ever any injury. So I so guess it was in that. It, <laughs> there is no evidence that there was ever even an injury. Nope. That's unbelievable. And they and kept so, telling me, they kept telling me how amazingly strong my bones were at the time of the accident. Really? And I said, really, if they're that strong, how come I'm in like eight pieces? And they said, <laughs> You could have been like, we would have been rebuilding you a, a cage for a pelvis in major surgery, trying to figure out how to put Humpty Dumpty back together. Unbelievable. So. 
unbelievable because so it not even helped in the recovery being a healthy individual it also helped prevent the injury from being even correct worse. much worse yes amazing yeah. amazing and betsy you still hiking still doing stuff outside oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yep yep in fact uh, yeah i i went right back and kept working on the cabin where i got hurt i was like no <laughs> not gonna stop me i got it was an accident and took care of the accident figured out how it happened and there we go. That's awesome. Went right back to, right back to it. Not going to let anything slow you down, right, Betsy? Well, like, you have a lot of time to think when you're in a hospital bed. Mm -hmm. I have a dear friend that was in a very serious car accident many years ago, hospitalized for about six months. Guess how he got home from the hospital? Huh. In a car. Huh. And he had a car, the car accidents, what put him in the hospital. So the ladder put me in the hospital. I'm not I got to go back to the ladder, you know, it's not the ladder's fault. There you go. There you go. Not going to let anything slow nope. you down. That's amazing. Nope. That's amazing. I'm seeing over here in the comments section, just so many positive responses to, to Betsy's story here. Isn't this incredible, everybody? Her story is just so inspirational and so amazing. And I want to make sure that before we close this down, Betsy, I want to give you just a minute or two here or however time you, you want. What would you say to somebody that is maybe just starting this program or maybe they started a while ago, but they hit some kind of snag, some kind of challenge. Maybe they got injured like you, or maybe they got some horrible diagnosis or they lost their job or something. What, what advice would you give um, to that person? Plug into the community. I mean, I, I know we say it and I know we hear it, you know, I was so fortunate to have sisters and brothers in the Optavia company that reached out to me, didn't bring me cookies and cakes and donuts, but brought me hope and brought me laughter and brought me support to hang in there and keep doing what I was doing. And the community, I, I don't, I mean, we're probably preaching to the choir, Nick, because we've got a lot of people on tonight's call. But the community's what we have the most fun with, but it's also what gets us through the deep, dark, dark times. Now, we may not have been there, but we can certainly help work with you. And it's, it's amazing the difference of having healthy community. Not the donut community, not the, oh, they're there, I feel sorry for you community, but we got your back. What can we do? How can we help you? And it's all over the country and it's all there. All we, if you mention Optavia to somebody and they're like, oh my gosh, you're Optavia, so am I. And it's really cool. You know, it's like, it, it is, it's, it's a great way to live your life and love the life you're living. That's incredible. That's incredible. One thing that just, first of all, if, if you all are, are listening right now and you're not plugged into the support, to, I mean, Betsy's advice is just spot on. Plug in because that is what's gonna help you get through some kind of a challenge. And I think one of the things that I heard you saying there, maybe in not so many words, was call your coach, whether it's a good day or a bad day, call your coach. Would you agree with that advice, Betsy? Definitely. Definitely. And, you know, I reached out to you, Nick. I mean, I didn't know who you were. I knew you were this guy at headquarters and I thought I'm going to call nutrition support. And I was fortunate to connect him with you, but you didn't know me. You were like, okay, well, I didn't know if you'd had somebody fall off the ladder before Nick, but you quickly went into your professional mode and supported me and loved me from clear across the country and gave me hope that you can do this. This is all you have to do. Just do it one step at a time. And that's, that's how we help each other. And healthy community is a hard thing, guys, but don't keep it to yourself and reach out. That's it. Don't keep it to yourself. And I am just, wow, I feel really blessed to be, uh, you know, just some small part in, in this amazing story that you've had, Betsy. Um, I'm just, uh, you know, so happy that I was able to be there for you. And I'm just so impressed by you, uh, your incredible spirit, your incredible determination, 
um, your big why, uh, you know, and the, and the love that you show um, to your friends and family, this community, um, and uh, truly the love that you've shown for yourself by taking good care of yourself and making sure that um, you, you stay healthy, you drink your water, you, you just do the things that you're supposed to do. And I got to tell you what, uh, I'm feeling so inspired right now. I'm going to go get myself a big glass of water. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is uh, all the time we have for tonight. I want to thank Betsy Stevens uh, for her incredible story, just sharing that with us. I'm just uh, so happy I could have been a part of this. I was so happy that I got called in to, to talk with you this evening, Betsy. I love it. Thank you, everybody, for, for joining in. I think at one point we had almost 900 people on here, which is incredible. So I hope you all are inspired to go out there and uh, drink your water. All right. Thanks. Have a good evening, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night. Thanks, Betsy. This audio may have contained the personal testimonials of some Optavia coaches or clients of Optavia. The results relayed in these messages are based on the unique experiences of the participants, and we cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. While you may be inspired by these accounts, Please note that any stories of success have not been verified and your individual path to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you consult with a healthcare provider before starting a weight loss program. Yours in health, the Optavia team.